Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to a new full game commentary. This one is going to be played once again on the PBE and I'm going to be playing the new Ash on the PBE as well because she did get a rework. So, I think we all can agree that Ash is looking pretty nice. Okay, I hope you guys don't close the video because I just said that. <laughs> but anyway, so Ash did get a nice rework and we're going to play it. And I already played one game, but uh, I couldn't record Well, I did record it, but uh, people were abusing the Cinder Hulk bug on the PBE where Cinder Hulk pretty much is extremely bugged right now on the server, PBE server. And it will do like, it'll do like 1500 damage to you per second or something absurd like that. And there's really no chance to beat it. But we don't care about that, we care about Ash. Let's quickly go over what the changes are. So, overall her playstyle feels a bit more fluid. Now what I mean by that is just everything kind of works together in a better way. So let's go ahead and get my Q. I, I, I gotta slow on every single auto attack. As long as I attack moves, this guy's dead. Oh my goodness. So I'm sorry guys, I'm kind of delaying the uh, explanation right now. But, oh my god, the hooks. I don't know if we want to go on that though. Okay, so let's go over the abilities again now that since we got rudely interrupted. Her passive. Now every single auto attack and ability, so her W and her ultimate, will slow their target by 5%. Not a whole lot, but hey, it's something. And it's every single auto attack. You don't have to turn it on or off. It just happens. And the cool thing is the fact that whenever she hits a slow target, you know, a target that's slowed by her passive, and I'm pretty sure only her pass passive, yeah, it's frost shot. So any target that is slowed by her passive, she actually always critically strikes as long as that passive slow is on them, which is really, really good. Now, the critical strikes, keep in mind, are not regular critical strikes because, as you know, most champions, when they do critically strike, it's 200% normal damage. Ashes, right now, is uh, it does scale with uh, how much crit chance that you have. You see right here in the white, it says plus 1% because I have 1% crit chance. But initially, it's only 110, but it does scale, and it's on every single auto attack, so that's pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. So that's her passive. Her Q has two parts to it now. It has a passive and an active. The passive effect is whenever I do slow a target, so like a minion, a champion, with any of my abilities, with my passive auto attack, with my W, which obviously slows everyone hit, it will give me a stack up to five stacks. Once I get the five stacks, I can activate the Q. Keep in mind, I can activate the Q whenever. It doesn't have to be at five stacks. But if I do have it uh, at five stacks, the Q not only does to give me the uh, extra attack speed bonus, which happens no matter when I activate the Q, but... But, oh, that's a Ash, holy shoot. I thought that was a Vayne for a second. Um, but if I do do at five stacks, I also get a bonus to my auto attacks. I start firing like a barrage of arrows, which I should be. Ooh, like right. Okay, well, I actually just. I missed it. I was literally about to do it, but. Oh, hello. I was I wasn't even like I could I could have done it right there. You guys see the right here. I have five stacks. I could have done it, but I wasn't paying attention. I was like too busy trying to explain everything. Um, but that's how that works, and it's really really cool. Her W now is pretty much the same thing, but it works a lot. It's programmed better to work as you know the way it should. So hitting multiple targets with the same W is impossible. You can hit the same target with multiple Ws, but only one of them. So you know how you fire a lot of arrows. So, whoa, that was actually risking her end there. Wow, missed it. So watch, for instance, if I go like this. So you can see the shots kind of like stop. They, they flat out halt. They don't really go through anymore. Um, so hitting many targets past that target is pretty much impossible. And uh, the tar same target oops, same target can't be hit by multiple Ws. Well, arrows in the W. But they can only take damage from, whew, from one of them. Alright. Activate my potion here, because why not? I don't think I should have. But that's okay. So this Thresh is out of mana, while our Thresh is quite uh, looking pretty good on the mana there. Yeah, see, I couldn't even hit the Ash there. <clears throat> so if I auto attack a target that doesn't have my passive on in the slow, I will not critically strike them. So you always want to apply it somehow, maybe with their volley or something, maybe even with their ultimate, it doesn't really matter how, as long as you have it on them. And then, so those auto attacks, it's considered one auto attack, I believe, so like, you know, like a Bloodthirster or like a Bork or something won't apply every single, um, won't apply its effect on every single one of those uh, auto attacks or arrows flying with her Q. But the cool thing is the fact that that Q thing lasts for uh, four seconds. And oof, um, you can fire those barrage, or I guess what they call it, a flurry of Qs uh, for the whole four seconds. So it's not like, oh, you can only fire like a set of three kind of flurry of Qs. It's just whatever many you can fire for that duration. 
Her E now has two pa two stacks to it. You can see it says one right here, and it's starting to like slowly get the second one. And the best thing is the fact that her E now is global, so I can literally fire it from here all the way to the top lane if I want to and check something out, which I think is quite arguably, I don't know, maybe the best thing about her new change because I think that's just amazing. All right, Trundle coming in hot. Vision over here. Let's try, let's try. Let's see if this Thresh can get a beautiful hook on him or anything to stop him. No, don't do it. No, he's dead. Oh, we still got the. I didn't get the assist for that. What? Okay. This game hates me, man. This game is like, nah, man. Nah, bruh. You can get. Okay, I'll get it. Fine. I hope I don't miss the minion for this because it's not worth. Nice. Oh, what? Okay, whatever. Let's push in one more wave, and then we'll back. So you can see every time I auto-attack something, um, it does give me the stacks right here. Yeah, five right now. If I run, if I activate my Q and I don't have the five stacks, so let's get like a couple stacks here. And let's activate my Q. Boom, it instantly resets my stacks back to zero. And I'm pretty sure, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure if I re activate the Q early and I end up getting five stacks, let's say halfway through the duration of the Q, so like two seconds into the four seconds of the Q, it will still give me the uh, flurry of attacks, which is really good. And her ultimate, by the way, I haven't really said anything about it because I'm pretty sure it's actually the exact same thing. I don't think anything whatsoever was changed uh, to the ultimate, so nothing to really mention there. Let's hope this Lee Sin doesn't get Cinder Hulk. Because Cinder Hulk, like I said, is extremely overpowered. Um, and if any of these guys get it, that'll be unfortunate. Now, this is the custom game that I made because I wanted to, you know, kind of set the rule to tell everyone, yeah, please do not get Cinder Hulk because I want to record this. And if you do get it, then shame on you because that item is quite literally overpowered. And actually broken. Literally broken. It's not even broken to the point where you're just saying it's strong. It's broken uh, because it's quite actually bugged out. But anywho push this in so one thing i'm not liking about the ash change is the fact that pushing in a wave seems extremely difficult like i think she might have one of the worst wave clears of any adc maybe vayne's worse but this vayne seems to auto attack harder than ash um because ash's w unless you position yourself very well hitting many or at least all the minions with their w is gonna be almost impossible oh mama mama mia nope Nope, it's not happening, mate. Did I really just miss the volley? Let's go, man. Let's go, boys. Get some vision just in case. I really want to get my level 6, man. I was, I was trying to get attacks and minions to get level 6 so I can get my ultimate and then fire it at someone and we can catch them off. But. Either way, I think late game Ash will be really strong. Like once you get the crit chance that you need in terms of making your passive, you know, do a lot more. Because right now I'm only dealing 111% crit damage. And now one thing to also note is that Ash, see, says right there, but Ash does not does not otherwise critically strike. So my first auto attack on a target, if they don't have my passive, will never critically strike. It is flat out impossible. But every auto attack on a target that does have my passive will always critically strike. So, I mean, for the most part, it is good. The only bad thing is the fact that, yeah, I mean, the critical damage itself is pretty bad because it's only 111% right now, which, let's be honest, that is pretty bad. That does not really do anything. Oh, wait, so it does. I need to test if. Okay, you know what? For this next wave, once my Q's back off of cooldown, we're going to test to see whether or not if I activate my Q early and then get the 5 stacks, will it then instantly start giving me the, the barrage of attacks, uh, the flurries. Oh, hello. Alright, so, activate my Q, throw my W, hit as many things as possible. No, it doesn't. I don't think it does. It doesn't seem like it does, unless I'm not doing it correctly. I should probably be back somewhat soon. Alright, let's try it one more time. Okay. So we're gonna activate my Q. We're gonna make sure I can hit as many as possible. Boom. One, two, three. No, I don't think it does. I, well, I don't know. I honestly don't think I'm testing it right. This is like kind of kind of being dumb right now. I'm not hitting many minions with it. Like Because like every minion you hit should apply a passive over Q, but apparently I'm only hitting like two of them. 
Yeah, it's pretty strong. In all honesty, like this, her Q and her passive, I think, are absolutely ridiculously strong. All right, so let's see if I can do it here somehow. No, I don't think I can. Oh, I don't have mana. Oh, right. okay. Well, let's do this. No, it doesn't. Okay, so there we tested it, and it does not. All right, because there I had five stacks. I got it really fast, and it did not proc it regardless. So the answer, I don't. I'm pretty sure is no. If you get your Q, rather if you, ooh, mama mia. If you use your Q early and then you get the five stacks, it doesn't apply to the currently active Q. So you should always use the Q if possible when you have the five stacks because you obviously get a lot more bonuses for that. All right. What happens to their thresh? She just kind of, I don't know. What happens to him? Very T. Very the threat. Did he AFK? I hope not. That'd be pretty bad. Though. Vision. Boom. One more. Aye. I think it's really cool. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to com <clears throat> I completely forgot to say that her Q, whenever you activate it, also gives her a more slow on her passive. Which is good. <clears throat> Let's see how much more it gives though. Uh, increases the slow by 20%. Not to 20%, by, but by 20%. So, you can see that the slow also scales. For, so it's 17%. Um, Right now, and you know, obviously, as a level, it'll get higher and higher and higher. What Thresh is AFK? What? Why would you AFK, man? Come on, man. <clears throat> Why would you do that? Oh, back connection. Okay, so maybe he just DC'd. Okay. Okay, so he didn't AFK. He just DC'd. It's different. AFK usually means like, yeah, he purposely he purposely left and just sat out to play, but DC obviously means that it's not really in his control. Oops, see, I actually only activated my Q there with, when I don't even have my uh, five stacks. Oops, you are solo bot. All right, man, no problem. Okay. I mean, I don't think it's gonna help much because I'm way ahead of her in items. So, but I mean, all right, that's not a problem, I guess. <clears throat> oh, mama! That arrow, though. Nice, I like it. I'm really excited to see Ash now being played more often because I really do think this is a cool champion. Her playstyle is just, it feels so... I don't even know how to explain it, it just feels the best out of any AD. Like, it feels how an ADC should feel, you know what I mean? Like, when I think of an ADC, when I feel when I think of a marksman, I think of Ash. That's just like how a champion should be when it comes to these kind of uh, this kind of role. So I'm really glad that they reworked her to make her feel a bit more interesting and a bit more fun and a bit more even fluid in terms of the gameplay. And I'm excited to see a lot more of Ash in the, in the just you know in general really. And I'm actually gonna play her a lot more because you know if you guys are not aware or people that are not aware or whatever, um, Ash or rather ADC is my second role that I play. You know obviously main mid lane, but ADC is my second role and I absolutely love playing it. The only problem with ADC that I have is the fact that um, there's really not many ADCs to play. Because the role is very limited. Ooh. Rip. Okay, I don't have my my ultimate. It's getting kind of dangerous. Oh, the Teemo. The Teemo. Is that AP Ezra? Yeah, it is AP Ezra. Don't, don't bubble me, please. Oh, the, oh my god, oh my god, I love how- I'm dead. Nope, JK. Oh, mama, hello. I love how every single auto attack crits, like with an IE and a PD, I feel like Ash late game, my goodness, is gonna be OP, like extremely overpowered, because once I get this, so this, is, this gives me 20%, this one's giving me 35%. So that's uh, 55 plus my 1%, 56%. That's 56%. So that's going to increase this to 166%, I believe, right? So, and that's every single auto attack. So if you do the math, after like probably, I don't know, man, maybe like four auto attacks, even five auto attacks consecutively on the same target, you're dealing more damage than... A normal ADC would with you know the normal type of critical strike uh, chance and damage and whatnot. Um, 
That is really, really strong, man. I feel like it's a little too strong. That's like, I feel like they're taking, it's like, <laughs> it's almost like an ADC Yasuo, you know what I mean? Let's, let's make use of this uh, global. I mean, that didn't really matter. I mean, it was, would have seen her regardless. Let's see how much damage we can do to her. I actually kind of feel bad. I'm not going to kill her. You know what? I feel kind of bad. I don't want to kill her. I feel like I'm bullying her, you know what I mean? Like, she's obviously behind, she had no way, uh, well, she had a support, but only for like half the laning phase. And uh, I don't know, I honestly truthfully feel a little bad for the player. I really do feel like I'm bullying him if I go after him there. So let's not do that. Um, Alright. So, as with most of the PBE, ooh, well, this is not, this is a little different. Oh, goodness, the damage is quite insane. So as with most PPE videos, I mean, a lot of them tend not to be like a perfect game where it's like, yeah, you know, it's equally skilled players facing equally skilled players with no DCs or AFKs or any bugs or anything like that. I mean, it is the PPE, right? There's always going to be some issue. But for the most part, I mean, this is a good enough gameplay, to, I think, to show off the Ash and just her capabilities and potential. Um, pretty darn strong, I, I must say. I think her passive and her Q, which I really haven't been making a lot of use of. Let's go ahead and attack minions so we can get the Q going. I feel like I've been using her cute whatsoever. I feel like I've been forgetting it completely. Alright. You have to leave it two minutes? Alright, that's fine. That'll, that'll be 4v4. Well, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of late for that now, though. <laughs> it's 4v4, but it's like four really fed people versus four not so fed people. Okay. I can get my Q right before the uh, thing expires and boom, boom, boom. It's pretty cool. I mean, I like it. It's nice damage. It's fast. You get 40% attack speed. 200 per. So you do 248 physical damage per auto attack, but the question is is it crit? Do these auto attacks crit or do they not crit? I'm not really entirely sure, actually. Yeah, that's, I can't. I'll damage that. Oh my god, I'm blinded. What? No. Oh, Timo. Timu. Why you do this, Timu? So I, yeah, I was blinded. So my Q, even though it looked like there was like 20 million shots hitting them, actually none of them were hitting them because of the blind. <laughs> so the question is, does this critically strike? Because if... Cause, okay, so every single flurry that I attack, so like, you know, the five shots or whatever she fires does 248. Normally I do 198. With my crits, how much do I do with crit damage? Though? That's the question, I need to check that. I mean, it's 169. It's um, 179. Oh, what am I doing? I calculated it wrong earlier. So it's 169% or 79% damage right now, which is actually absurdly good, uh, which is a lot more damage actually. So then uh, this does, I'm pretty sure. Let's go test it on the red buff. Let's see, because I'm thinking like if the Q doesn't critically strike, is it is it really better to use than just auto attacking? Um, so right now I'm doing 308 per auto attack. Oh no, it does definitely. I think, no, it, it does. Okay, so it does crit. It does crit. Okay, so the fact that it does crit means that it's extremely good actually. Wow, that is a little too strong if anything. Let's go ahead and test it on the blue buff again, also. Oh, I might actually kill her. Oh, the Teemo. <laughs> so you can see the big numbers whenever it crits, right? Yeah, and all the numbers are, are big here. Wow. So the fact that, because I know that I'm pretty sure it doesn't apply. Oh yeah, it applies. It applies lifesteal and I think things like Blade of the Rune King on one of the auto attacks, not all like five or whatever of them. But it seems like every single auto attack crits when you use it with her passive and the Q, which is absurdly good. Um, wow. I'm actually kind of shocked that, that they would do that. It really feels like it's some kind of... It really feels like it's some kind of like ADC Yasuo action going on here. I'm not sure, dude. A little too strong, but that's pretty much the new Ash, guys. I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to this going on the live server. I'm going to be playing a lot of it, I know that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this, maybe learned something new, really found out what exactly this rework is and how it is. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed it, please throw in a like, share it with your friends, and I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.